Hey guys, Jim Nix here. Hope you're having a great day. Today and in this video, I am talking about the brand new Luminar 2018. It's the brand new product from our friends at Skyloom Software, formerly known as MacFun. And Luminar is their flagship all-in-one photo editor, and it's amazing. I've used Luminar 2017 for you know over a year now, and I absolutely adore it. If you look back in the history here in my YouTube, you can see copious amounts of videos about how to use it. But 2018 is coming out. We start pre-orders today. I'll put a link down there to my blog. You can go get your copy or get your copy reserved. It ships on November 16th. And if you do uh, buy during the pre-order period, you get a bunch of great bonuses, including some presets and textures from my friend Nicole Young, who's known as Nicole Z. And uh, she's an incredibly talented photographer. Let's see, what else do you get? Uh, you also get a pack of LUTs lookup tables. I'll talk about those in a minute. And you get a one-year plan from SmugMug for photo hosting. It's a great deal. Click the link below. Go check it out on my blog. I've also got screenshots and other things. But let me tell you about Luminar 2018. So let's get started. Okay, I've got this photo from Copenhagen. And this is the new UI. There's a new UI. There's new filters. There's new capabilities. They basically took a very powerful, incredibly comprehensive product and made it better. And that's what's great about software, right? Things get better every year. This is a better version. So across the top, you've got common tools. You'll notice uh, there used to be a little side panel here that had crop and transform and clone and stamp and erase and denoise. Well, they're up here now, crop, transform, clone and sta stamp and erase. Denoise is now a filter. It's over here in the add filter section. I'll show you that in a minute. This is where you get to presets. And this is pretty cool stuff because there's a lot of presets built in. You can click the categories and you can see all those. You can create your own, which will go into the user preset box. But if you wanted to, you just click on a preset and as the name implies, it will uh, you know has a preset level of adjustment. It sticks the filters on that right hand panel over here and applies all that change to your photo. But the cool thing is, just like in the new Aurora 2018, they added the overlay preset button. So if you click on that, It'll create a new layer automatically. You'll see that over here in the Layers panel as Layer 1. And then I can stick another preset on top of it. I could use the same one twice. It doesn't matter. It basically auto-creates a new layer. You can stick another preset on it and then go make adjustments or do whatever you want to do. So that's a cool new feature. I'm going to close the preset panel. I'm going to delete that layer and I'm going to reset the base layer back to having no edits. Um, this is the icon that will open up your right-hand panel for editing. And this is, just like in Aurora, the export and share has been moved to the right-hand corner. So you can say export to image, and you can also open in all these other different products if you would like to. So that's that. Now, the fun stuff, right? The really fun stuff, and that is all the filters. There's, uh, I haven't counted yet. I think 45 filters. There were about 40 or so in the last one. There's uh, several new ones and uh, I'm excited to talk about them. So you just click on add filters and it shows you here the filter menu. Now I'm getting uh, this message as you see when I highlight over a filter, the definition with a sample image comes up. If you don't like that, just click that I button and turn it off. I kind of like it, it's kind of fun. It gives you an idea, a preview, uh, well, not a preview. It gives you an idea what it looks like on a sample photo, not the photo you're editing. Uh, there are a number of new filters that all the, the great ones are returning. So Accent AI, all these different things are returning. But I know you want to hear about the new stuff. There's Denoise. You can just add Denoise. It's divided now between luminosity and color, and you have Boost, and it is real time. If uh, Some of you uh, may remember from 2017, sometimes there's a little bit slower. This is real time. It acts like a regular filter. Huge improvement. I love it. I'm using it all the time. I'm not going to use it on this photo just because I'm going to edit this one at the end. Um, and I'm going to use a few other things. So that's Denoise. There's also Develop. So Develop uh, is basically your raw editor. And so you can come in here and make these adjustments, but you also have Lens Correction and Transform. So if you, you use Aurora 2018, you know those tools are included in Aurora 18. Now they're in Luminar 18 as well. So Transform and Lens Correction allows you to fix all kinds of different and unique things uh, in your photos. Straighten up vertical lines, all that stuff. Very powerful. Lovely filter. I'm using it a lot as well. I'm going to close it for now. Dodge and Burn. 
Same as in Aurora, you just click Start Painting, and then you can either bright lighten or darken. You can dodge or burn, it doesn't matter. But you can go and paint that in selectively to your photo. Super powerful, super useful, and that's a new filter. Uh, other stuff, Hue Shift allows you, as the name implies, to literally shift hues and get some really creative and unique color combinations. That's a new filter, and that's pretty fun. LUT mapping, here you go. LUT, uh, LUT is short for lookup table. It's essentially a color-based preset. It's historically used in filmmaking to color grade a film or a scene in a film. And so it's a file, you grab it, you stick it in your uh, the scene that you're editing in your editing software, and it applies a color grade to it. Well now, you can apply LUTs straight into Luminar and apply your uh, to your photos there. So you would just say load LUT file. I'm gonna go grab this teal orange LUT that I happen to have handy. And there you go, there's my LUT. Now, I can increase or decrease the amount. I can increase or decrease contrast and saturation as well. I just basically created a very different and unique look to this photo using a LUT file. The cool thing about it, and to me what's so um, powerful about it is, you can take presets you made in Photoshop or Lightroom, and now you will need a utility. There's some free ones and some that you can buy online that will do this, but you can export those presets with color looks and uh, apply them as a LUT file to your Luminar uh, photo. So it's a really cool and interesting way to take things that you may be using elsewhere and use them here and get the benefit of that across platform. Super powerful, super fun. You'll be hearing a lot about that. Matte look allows you to create basically a faded, you know, I like to call it Instagram look, but it may not necessarily be Instagram, but the bottom line is you can come in here, make all sorts of kind of crazy different looks and edits to your photos, all kind of faded, you know, matte is kind of a faded versus like a vibrant kind of look. Very cool, new new filter. Again, you'll be hearing more about all these new filters. Um, the other one that's really cool is sun rays, and that's been super popular. You can literally say place sun center and just go grab a sun. And as you can see, and I'll do this here in a minute, I'll use it on this photo. You can make all kinds of adjustments. Once you have your center uh, placed, hit that button again, and there it is. So that's a quick preview of a lot of the new filters. I'm gonna go in and edit this photo real quick. And I'm just going to use a few different filters just because um, I want to uh, create a, you know, a particular look. So I'm going to use Accent AI, and I'm going to use Color Temp and uh, Temperature Intent. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Saturation, a little bit of Vibrance, and maybe a little bit less on that. So there you go. Uh, and as you can see, that was about, I don't know, 10 seconds of work, and I went from that to that. Very powerful, very fun, and that's the beauty of Luminar, but I'm not done. As I said, I'm going to stick sun rays on there. Now this filter catalog is open. I can close it with that X or I can hit add filters again and it'll close it. But I'm going to go stick this sun on here. So when I showed you the filter the first time, I stuck it up there in the sky. The cool thing is that it's intelligent. So watch, I'm going to drag it and I'm going to stick it right at the edge of this building and it's going to recognize that there's a hard object that the sun should be sinking behind and it'll start to sink behind it. So watch these rays in the foreground as I do that. You can see that they are starting to lessen as the building is taking on uh, the role that it should take on, which is to block out the sun rays in the front. So that's pretty cool, very intelligent, I love that. You can change the amount of the sun rays, right? So how big they are, how intense they are. Look is like a darken or brighten kind of thing. Number, you can just create a whole lot of rays coming off the sun to really make it burst. Um, you can change the length of them across the photo, right? Lengthen or shorten them. You can increase or decrease the warmth. I might actually increase, it looks kind of cool. And then the sun itself. I'm gonna reduce the radius there. And I think that's really cool. If you look at the building, only about half the sun radius is sticking out. The other half is hidden behind the building. So I think that's cool. Glow radius, I'm gonna take that down. Penetration is how intensely are, they come, are the rays coming across the photo. That looks pretty cool like that, so I'm gonna leave that. And then randomize, it really does. You just kind of flip it around till you see something you like and say, hey Jim, stop there. So there, I'll stop. That's a quick edit, but let me show you. Just the sun rays filter alone went from that, which I think looks beautiful, and that's really how I remember it looking when I shot it, to that. So that's power and beauty of Luminar 2018. Amazing new tools, LUT mapping, matte looks, sun rays alone is crazy awesome. 
The lens correction and transform, those are both built into the new develop filter. Denoise is a filter. The product runs quicker. There's a new UI. You got preset stacking, excuse me, with the overlay preset function. You got a lot of crazy stuff. Let me tell you the pricing. Current users of Luminar can get it during the pre-order period for $39. 40 bucks, bam, and you got this crazy cool stuff. Um, new users get it for 59 and both of you get the bonus, the, the preset pack and the textures from Nicolzi, the, uh, the LUT files, and the one-year uh, pro uh, uh, plan with SmugMug, which is for new users only, but if you don't have a portfolio, they're the best. I have my portfolio there. It's rock solid. So that's it. I hope you're as excited as I am. Check out the link below to go to my blog and check out everything I've shared with you here, plus a lot of screenshots, sample photos, before and after, a lot of cool things. And I've also got an article, not an article, but a couple of paragraphs I wrote on the blog on that same link that you can get to there about my thoughts about Luminar. So I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll uh, you, you'll enjoy checking that out. And last, uh, last thing I'm going to ask you, click like if you like this, if you found it useful, leave me a comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. I have a massive, and I'm not kidding, massive amount of videos and things I'm going to be sharing here all about Luminar 2018, but I haven't forgotten about Aurora. i still got more Aurora stuff to do. I can only do so much. It's just me just sitting at home cranking out these videos. So thanks for coming. Subscribe, share, uh, comment, like, check out the link on my blog. Get it while it's hot. The pre-order period goes until November 16th, and that's when you're going to get your hands on this amazing software. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for coming by. See you next time, friends. Adios.